hi everyone welcome to sql guys channel today in this video we will discuss about alias used in sql alias are used to create temporary names for columns or tables for aliasing column or table just write the column or table name followed by keyword as and then the alias name in some databases you give aliases name just by giving column name or table name space followed by alias name there is no need to type as keyword let's see how to alias column name generally aliases are used to column names so that they are easier to read in the result set here we have a customers table let me write a query that gives a total number of customers start writing count of asterisk from a customers table if you see the result set column heading is not proper now let's use alias to rename the column heading go back to the query enter as total When we run the query, column heading is now shown as total. Some databases allow aliasing without using as keyword, just by giving the space. If you want to give a column name header that includes spaces, you need to enclose the alias name in quotes. So we will enter number of customers. and run the query see that column heading is shown as number of customers in the result set next we will see how to alias a table name generally we need to give alias name to table when you want to shorten the table name or when you perform self join so let's join two tables customers and orders i'm going to use first letter of the table as alias name for example for customers table we will use alias c for customers and o for orders table so start writing select from customers c join orders o where c dot customer id equal to o dot customer id These two tables are related by the customer ID column. Now specify the column names. C dot column name represents the column from the customer table, and O dot column name represents the column from the orders table. I hope now you are aware of how to use aliases while writing SQL queries. That's it for today guys. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel.